use your Boston Scientific Versace DBS remote control. Welcome to the Boston Scientific DBS remote control video. The short video will show you how to use your remote control. This video is not intended as a substitute for your DBS patient handbook. It is important that you understand the contents of the patient handbook before using your remote control. Please be aware that there are different models of remote control depending on whether you have a rechargeable or non-rechargeable DBS system. If you can check the battery level of your stimulator on the remote screen, you have a rechargeable system. If you can't, you have a non-rechargeable system. In this video, you will learn how to turn the stimulation on, off, change to a different program, and if your physician allows you, adjust your stimulation level, and if you have a rechargeable system, check the battery status of your stimulator. Charging the remote control. Your remote control kit includes the remote control, a charging cable, and a silicon case. The silicon case protects your remote control from damage. The remote control is equipped with a rechargeable battery, which needs regular charging. When the remote control is low on battery, it displays messages reminding you to charge it when you unlock it. Charge it by connecting the power plug end to a plug socket, and then connecting the charger to the connector at the top of the remote control. When the remote control battery is fully charged, you'll see a message on the screen. Remote control buttons. Before we show you how to use the remote control, let's start by explaining the various buttons. On the right side, you'll find the lock, unlock button. On the front of the remote control, there's a stimulation on, off, red button. On the left side, you'll see the home button and the program button. In the center of the remote, there are plus and minus buttons. They can be used to decrease or increase your stimulation. In the lower part of the remote control, you will find the navigation buttons. By using these buttons, you can navigate through the menu structure and confirm your selection by pressing the center round enter button. At the top of your remote, you will find the USB power supply port for the charger. Explanation of the home screen. The home screen of the remote control displays different information like status messages, battery level, error messages, or the number of your stimulation program. Here are some basic instructions for getting started with your precise remote control. Unlock your remote control by pressing and holding the button on the right side of the remote control until you see five green dots. Then release the button to unlock. Now your remote control should connect automatically to your stimulator if the stimulator and your remote are within communication range. The communication range is up to three meters with the Boston Scientific Genus Rechargeable and Boston Scientific Genus Primary Cell Implantable Pulse Generator, IPG. For all other IPG systems, the communication range is up to 60 centimeters. Troubleshooting. If the message, communication failed, appears on the screen, it means the remote is too far from the stimulator or that you are trying to use the remote to connect to the stimulator while charging. Please move the remote control closer to the stimulator and press the white enter button to retry. When using the remote control, try to avoid sources of interference like computer screens and mobile phones. These can affect wireless communication. Home screen. Your remote control has three different modes, locked, sleep mode, and unlocked. Don't worry if your remote screen automatically darkens after 60 seconds of inactivity. It is entering sleep mode to save battery. Press any button on the remote control to wake it up. Otherwise, the remote control will become locked and you'll need to unlock it again. In the center of the home screen, you see the status icon of your stimulation. The stimulation is turned on if you see a green sun and the text says, stimulation on. If the sun is gray, the stimulation is turned off. You can change the stimulation status from on to off or vice versa by pressing the red button in the center of your remote control. In the upper right corner, you see the battery level of the remote control. If you have a rechargeable stimulator implanted, you will additionally see the stimulator battery level icon under the green sun of the home screen. 
The icon in the upper left corner shows the number of the stimulation program currently running. By pressing the home button on the left side of the remote control, you will exit any selected sub-menu and quickly return to the home screen. Checking the battery level of a non-rechargeable stimulator. This information is only for patients with a non-rechargeable stimulator. If you have a non-rechargeable stimulator, eventually it will need to be replaced at the end of the battery lifetime. We therefore recommend that you check your remote control at least every two weeks. You'll then notice the warning messages if your stimulator's battery is nearing depletion. When the battery of a non-rechargeable stimulator is nearing depletion, it will enter Elective Replacement Indicator, ERI mode, and will display the following message. Stimulator near end of service. Call your doctor. The stimulator will still, however, deliver stimulation. In ERI mode, you will no longer be able to save changes made to your stimulation with a remote control, and your stimulator must be replaced. You'll need surgery to replace your implanted non-rechargeable stimulator. Call your clinician to report this message screen. Press the select key to clear this message. It will continue to appear whenever the remote control is activated. When the implanted non-rechargeable stimulator has reached its end of service, the remote control will display the following message. Stimulator at end of service. Call your doctor. This means the battery is empty and the stimulator will no longer deliver stimulation. In both cases, call your physician as soon as possible to schedule an appointment for battery replacement surgery of your non-rechargeable stimulator. Checking the battery level of your rechargeable stimulator. This information is only for patients with a rechargeable stimulator. Three bars mean the rechargeable battery is full. Two bars mean the battery is okay. One bar means the battery needs to be charged. We recommend charging the stimulator when the battery runs down to two bars. Then you have a good balance between charging interval and the time it takes to charge the stimulator battery until the double beep. When the message stimulator battery low appears, recharge your battery as soon as possible. Otherwise your stimulator will switch off and you will lose the effects of the stimulation until the battery is being recharged. All these messages are explained in the patient handbook. Advanced Applications Now, we would like to introduce you to the advanced applications of your remote control if your physician allows you. During the programming sessions, your physician may have configured one or more stimulation settings to help you manage your symptoms. These are called programs. Your remote can store up to four programs, numbered one to four. You can view the currently active program number in the upper left corner of the home screen. If your physician has set up different programs for you, you can access these from the main menu by using the navigation buttons to enter the program's menu or by pressing the program button P on the left side of your remote. Click the right arrow to display the main menu. Click the right arrow a second time to enter the program's menu. Click the right arrow a third time to enter the Change Program menu. From here, you can navigate through the different programs with the up and down arrows. Select your desired program by clicking on the right arrow one last time. If your remote control offers you different stimulation programs, talk to your doctor about which programs are best so you can pick the right program for you. Changing the stimulation level. If your physician allows you to change the stimulation level, you can adjust it from the main menu. From the main menu, press the down button to navigate to stimulation areas, then press the right arrow to select it. Click the right arrow to enter the amplitude menu. On the amplitude screen, L corresponds to the left side of your body. R corresponds to the right side of your body. You can select the body side by pressing the left or right white arrow buttons. Use the minus and plus buttons to adjust the stimulation level. Each time you press the button plus or minus, this will increase or decrease, respectively, your stimulation in 0.1 MA. If you reach the limit of the allowable range, the limit reached screen will appear. If your doctor allows you to change the stimulation intensity, you should be able to tell which level is right for you based on the improvement in symptoms you feel. 
if you feel any side effects, make sure to stop increasing or decreasing stimulation intensity. About system settings. Using the system settings, you can set or change a few remote control interface settings, such as the alert volume, screen brightness, and the language setting. In addition, you can view information about the remote control and the stimulator. The clinician menu and enter MRI mode contain separate functions which may only be used by your physician. Additional information. Don't forget to always keep your patient ID card with you. Please show it to your physician if you have to pass any medical examination or an MRI scan. Don't forget your remote control when traveling. At the airport, avoid going through the metal detector gate. Just show your patient ID card to security staff. They will check you without a metal detector. Try to avoid magnetic fields because they may temporarily turn off your stimulation. If you leave the magnetic field, check on your remote control if the stimulation is still on. If no, press the button to turn it on. Please keep your remote control with you. If you have a medical examination, for example, your physician may need to switch off the stimulator. We hope this introduction to the precise remote control has been helpful. Remember, you can consult your patient handbook or contact your physician if you have any questions.